A night in the desert, an unexpected encounter. Wow, look at all these stars, Linda. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's breathtaking, Richard. I've never experienced such a clear night sky. It's amazing how the desert transforms at night. During the day, it's just vast and hot, but now it's like a whole new world. I agree. The cool breeze is such a relief after the scorching sun. What made you decide to camp out here? I've always been fascinated by the desert. It's so different from the city life I'm used to. What about you? For me, it's about the adventure and the tranquility. It's so peaceful here, away from all the noise and rush. True. Do you hear that? The sound of the desert is just the wind and our own breathing. It's almost like a form of meditation. By the way, have you ever seen a desert fox? No, I haven't. But I'd love to. They're supposed to be quite elusive. They are. Oh, look there. Do you see that small shadow moving? I think that might be one. Where? Oh, yes. That's incredible. It's so small and quick. Nature is full of surprises. Every time I come to the desert, I discover something new. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? Every experience is unique. Definitely. And the stars. It's like they're telling a story all their own. Speaking of stories, do you know any good desert tales or legends? I do know a few. There's one about a lost city buried under the sand, said to be full of treasures. That sounds like something out of a movie. Imagine stumbling upon a hidden city. It would be the discovery of a lifetime. But for now, I'm happy just gazing at the stars and enjoying this moment. Me too, Linda. It's moments like these that really make life worth living. Absolutely. Well, we should probably get some sleep. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yes, you're right. Good night, Linda. Let's see what adventures tomorrow brings. Good night, Richard. Christmas around the world. Fun facts and traditions. Simple English questions and answers. What does Oscar do for Christmas? Oscar decorates a Christmas tree. Where does Olivia buy her Christmas gifts? Olivia shops for Christmas gifts at the mall. Why do people hang stockings on Christmas? People hang stockings for Santa to fill with presents. Who brings presents on Christmas Eve? Santa Claus brings presents on Christmas Eve. What does Oscar eat on Christmas Day? Oscar eats turkey and Christmas pudding. Where does Olivia put her Christmas tree? Olivia places her Christmas tree in the living room. What is a popular Christmas carol? Jingle Bells is a popular Christmas carol. Why do we celebrate Christmas? Christmas is celebrated as the birth of Jesus Christ. What does Oscar write to Santa Claus? Oscar writes a wish list to Santa Claus. Where does Olivia go on New Year's Eve? Olivia goes to a New Year's party in London. What do people drink on New Year's Eve? People often drink champagne to celebrate New Year's. Why do we make New Year's resolutions? We make resolutions to improve ourselves in the new year. What does Oscar do at midnight on New Year's Eve? Oscar watches fireworks at midnight. Where does Olivia find Christmas decorations? Olivia buys decorations at a Christmas market. What is a traditional Christmas dessert? 
Mince pies are a traditional Christmas dessert. Why do people kiss under mistletoe? Kissing under mistletoe is a Christmas tradition, for good luck. What gift does Oscar want for Christmas? Oscar wants a new bike for Christmas. Where does Olivia travel for Christmas? Olivia travels to Paris for Christmas. What is Santa's home at the North Pole like? Santa's home is said to be a workshop where toys are made. Why do people sing carols at Christmas? People sing carols to spread Christmas cheer. What does Oscar leave for Santa Claus? Oscar leaves cookies and milk for Santa. Where does Olivia celebrate New Year's Day? Olivia celebrates New Year's Day at home with her family. What happens when the clock strikes 12 on New Year's Eve? People cheer and wish each other a Happy New Year. Why do we decorate with lights at Christmas? Lights symbolize brightness and joy during the festive season. What does Oscar do with snow on Christmas? Oscar builds a snowman. Where does Olivia buy her Christmas turkey? Olivia buys her turkey at the local butcher's. What is a common New Year's decoration? Colorful banners and balloons are common New Year's decorations. Why do people give gifts at Christmas? Giving gifts is a way to show love and kindness at Christmas. What Christmas movie does Oscar watch every year? Oscar watches Home Alone every Christmas. Where does Olivia visit to see Christmas lights? Olivia visits New York City to see the Christmas lights. Understanding Traffic Lights and Signs, A Beginner's Guide What do traffic lights control? Traffic lights control the flow of cars on the road. What does a red light mean? A red light means you must stop. Why are traffic rules important? Traffic rules are important to keep everyone safe. What should you do at a stop sign? At a stop sign, you should come to a complete stop and look for other vehicles. Who is a pedestrian? A pedestrian is a person who is walking, not driving a car. What does a green light mean? A green light means you can go. What is a speed limit? A speed limit is the maximum speed you can drive in that area. What happens if you break a traffic rule? If you break a traffic rule, you might get a fine. What should you do if you hear a siren from an ambulance? If you hear a siren from an ambulance, you should move to the side and let it pass. Why should we wear seatbelts? We should wear seatbelts for safety. What does a yellow light mean? A yellow light means slow down and prepare to stop. Where do you walk when there's no sidewalk? When there's no sidewalk, you should walk on the left side facing traffic. What is a crosswalk? A crosswalk is a place marked for pedestrians to cross the road. How should you drive in foggy weather? In foggy weather, you should drive slowly and use headlights. What does a traffic fine mean? A traffic fine is a penalty for breaking a traffic rule. What is a traffic jam? A traffic jam is when many cars are stuck and cannot move easily. Why are traffic signs important? Traffic signs give information and warnings to drivers. What should you do when the traffic light is blinking? When the traffic light is blinking, you should be cautious and follow the rules shown. How do pedestrians cross the road safely? Pedestrians cross the road safely by using crosswalks and looking both ways. What is a bicycle lane? A bicycle lane is a part of the road designed for bicycles. Getting to know each other and greetings in English. Hello there. How are you doing today? Hi Eric. I'm doing great, thank you. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. Just enjoying this sunny day. What brings you to the park? Oh, I love coming to the park to relax and read a book. 
The atmosphere is just so calming. That sounds wonderful. Reading is a fantastic way to unwind. What kind of books do you like? I enjoy reading fiction, mostly. But I also like self-help books and history. How do you like to spend your free time? I'm a bit of a movie buff. I love watching films and analyzing them. It's my way of engaging with art, I suppose. That's fascinating. Movies are a great way to explore different worlds and ideas. Do you have a favorite genre? I would say drama and thrillers are my go-to genres. They keep me on the edge of my seat and make me think. Very interesting. Drama and thrillers do have a way of captivating the audience. Have you ever thought about taking up a hobby like acting or filmmaking? You know, it has crossed my mind. I've even taken a few acting classes, just for fun. What about you? Any hobbies other than reading? Well, I like to paint and draw when I get some free time. I find it incredibly therapeutic. That's awesome. Artistic hobbies like that can be very fulfilling. You get to create something out of nothing. Exactly. It's a wonderful feeling. So, do you come to the park often? Not as often as I'd like. But whenever I get a chance, I come here to jog or just walk around and clear my head. That's nice. The park really is a place for everyone, whether you want to exercise or just sit back and relax. Absolutely. Well, it was really nice meeting you, Isabella. I hope we bump into each other again sometime. Likewise, Eric. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Easy English. Learning through daily news. What do you read in a newspaper? I read news and articles in a newspaper. Where do you watch TV? I watch TV in the living room. What do you listen to on the radio? I listen to music and news on the radio. Who hosts the podcast you like? Michael hosts the podcast I like. What kind of music do you enjoy? I enjoy listening to pop music. Who is your favorite film actor? My favorite film actor is Tom Hanks. How often do you read a newspaper? I read a newspaper every morning. What shows do you watch on TV? I watch documentaries and comedies on TV. Can you find sports news on the radio? Yes, I can find sports news on the radio. What was the last podcast you listened to about? The last podcast I listened to was about travel. Do you prefer music or podcasts? I prefer listening to music. What was the last film you saw? The last film I saw was a science fiction movie. Which newspaper do you read? I read the New York Times. Do you have a favorite TV channel? Yes, my favorite TV channel is BBC. Is there a radio station you like best? Yes, I like the radio station 104.5 FM. Who is your favorite podcast guest? My favorite podcast guest is the scientist, Dr. Jane. What genre of music makes you happy? Rock music makes me happy. What kind of films does Jessica like? Jessica likes romantic comedies. Do you prefer reading a newspaper or watching news on TV? Learn English Basics. Sharing personal info with Pascal and Beatrix. Where is Pascal from? Pascal is from England. How old is Beatrix? Beatrix is 35 years old. What is Pascal's favorite color? Pascal's favorite color is blue. Does Beatrix have any siblings? Yes, Beatrix has one brother. What does Pascal do for a living? Pascal is a teacher. Where did Beatrix go to school? Beatrix went to school in England. What hobbies does Pascal enjoy? Pascal enjoys reading and hiking. Can Beatrix speak any foreign languages? Yes, Beatrix can speak Spanish and French. What is Pascal's favorite food? Pascal's favorite food is pizza. Does Beatrix like to travel? Yes, Beatrix loves traveling. Where was Pascal born? 
Pascal was born in Australia. What is Beatrix's job? Beatrix is a graphic designer. What sports does Pascal play? Pascal plays soccer and tennis. Has Beatrix visited any Asian countries? Yes, Beatrix has visited Japan and China. What is Pascal's dream vacation? Pascal's dream vacation is to go to Italy. What is Beatrix's favorite movie? Beatrix's favorite movie is The Lord of the Rings. Does Pascal have any pets? Yes, Pascal has a dog named Max. Where does Beatrix like to shop? Beatrix likes to shop in Paris. What type of music does Pascal listen to? Pascal likes to listen to rock music. Is Beatrix a morning or night person? Beatrix is a morning person. What is Pascal's nationality? Pascal is Canadian. What is Beatrix's favorite season? Beatrix's favorite season is spring. Can Pascal cook? Yes, Pascal is a good cook. Does Beatrix have any children? No, Beatrix does not have any children. What is Pascal's favorite book? Pascal's favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird. What city does Beatrix live in? Beatrix lives in Berlin. What is Pascal's favorite TV show? Pascal's favorite TV show is Stranger Things. Has Beatrix ever been to Africa? No, Beatrix has never been to Africa. What is Pascal's favorite animal? Pascal's favorite animal is the elephant. What is Beatrix's favorite hobby? Beatrix's favorite hobby is painting. Does Pascal have a car? Yes, Pascal has a car. A night in the desert, an unexpected encounter. Wow, look at all these stars, Linda. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's breathtaking, Richard. I've never experienced such a clear night sky. It's amazing how the desert transforms at night. During the day, it's just vast and hot, but now it's like a whole new world. I agree. The cool breeze is such a relief after the scorching sun. What made you decide to camp out here? I've always been fascinated by the desert. It's so different from the city life I'm used to. What about you? For me, it's about the adventure and the tranquility. It's so peaceful here, away from all the noise and rush. True. Do you hear that? The sound of the desert is just the wind and our own breathing. It's almost like a form of meditation. By the way, have you ever seen a desert fox? No, I haven't. But I'd love to. They're supposed to be quite elusive. They are. Oh, look there. Do you see that small shadow moving? I think that might be one. Where? Oh, yes. That's incredible. It's so small and quick. Nature is full of surprises. Every time I come to the desert, I discover something new. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? Every experience is unique. Definitely. And the stars. It's like they're telling a story all their own. Speaking of stories, do you know any good desert tales or legends? I do know a few. There's one about a lost city buried under the sand, said to be full of treasures. That sounds like something out of a movie. Imagine stumbling upon a hidden city. It would be the discovery of a lifetime. 
but for now, I'm happy just gazing at the stars and enjoying this moment. Me too, Linda. It's moments like these that really make life worth living. Absolutely. Well, we should probably get some sleep. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yes, you're right. Good night, Linda. Let's see what adventures tomorrow brings. Good night, Richard.